Hey Slutly and Blended, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today is a contour video day. Um, I, this is my first time trying one, so I might do an updated one in the future. But if you'd like to see how I contour my face, then just keep on watching. Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how I contour. I know it's kind of like, it's probably a little bit different. I think everyone has their different ways. Um, it all really depends on the shape of your face, where your features are. Everybody has different face shapes and different features. So I'm just going to show you how I do with mine. Um... Currently, I am trying to, if I can get it out, finish up this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation and Fawn. Um, just because it's getting close to expiring and I still have, like, a lot left. So, I'm <laughs> trying to get as much of it gone as possible because I do not like to be wasteful. So, anyway, I'm going to start with this. I do tend to go, like do like cream and then powder on top but I feel like today might just be a cream product day until we get to the other products but I already have my foundation and concealer on I used the um Maybelline Fit Me Dewy foundation and the elf hydrating camo concealer so yeah I'm just gonna find on my face let's see my cheekbones so I want to take it a little bit higher because I want to have like sharp cheekbone features going on here. Okay. So I have that. I'm going to run it on my forehead. I don't know. I feel like my techniques change frequently. So I might be doing an updated one here pretty soon. <laughs> um, and for my nose, I just like to run it down the bridge of my nose and then kind of bring it in a little bit when we get closer to and then on the tip of my nose for now I'll probably go into like the um, powder for my nose I tend to do both most of the time to, like regardless of if I is regardless of if I use a cream or cream and powder I usually tend to like use a little bit of powder onto my nose so yeah now let me see where is my brush well I'll use my concealer sponge so I'm just going to blend that in For my nose, I'm going to take this little mica brush. I'm not sure what exactly it is. The numbers have worn off. Um, but I'm just going to run this up towards my brow. And just kind of pat it in. Okay, so I have it like nice and patted down. And I did take a little bit of concealer on the bridge of my nose. I guess I should have done my full like base routine. Uh, this is like I've never done one of these before so please forgive me I will probably do another one in the future um but yeah so I'm just gonna pat this in up towards my hairline because this will bring a little bit of color back to my face and kind of slim up my forehead a little bit I'm gonna bring it down a little and just pat it down I'm really just kind of trying to cover up the fact that I ended up with blue eyeshadow somehow in my hairline. Like, I guess it must have, like, kicked up even though I did tap off the excess. So, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, so if you would like to see a tutorial on this eye look that is not finished yet, but will be by the time I film the outro for this, um, I will have it linked down below because I'm doing all this in one go <laughs> all right so it's nice and padded in um sometimes i go a little heavy with my contour sometimes i don't um i can like kind of tell that it has given me a little bit of a cheekbone going on um i can't find words today but yeah so for my nose oh, my chair makes all the noise i'm so sorry all right for my nose i have some morphe contour brushes i don't remember oh my gosh where are they the morphe m3 um they're old um god what are, I, don't, I don't know but they were in a set it was like a little bundle but i'm going to use the melt 
um, sculpt stack. This is the powder one, and I'm just going to take the light medium contour powder, or contour powder, and I'm just going to get a little bit on the thinnest brush, and then kind of do the same thing. Just line my nose. I don't um, use powder really to set anything or to like bake or anything. I used to. I'm not oily anymore um, because I'm, I guess because I'm pushing 30. Uh, my body just doesn't, or my face doesn't want to produce as much oil. So I use oils and stuff like that just to try to make sure that I don't get super dry. But, um, so I will not be doing any baking or anything. Um, I'm going to run this on the tip of my nose. And then we have a little button there, you know. Alright, now I'm going to take this other Morphe brush just to very gently blend that out. Because when you're working with contouring, you're really just using an illusion of light. So, well, I don't know if that's how I meant for that to come out. But you're using the powder to create a shadow to manipulate your features or to enhance your features. Okay, got a little nose, nose, um landing strip here but now i'm just going to take this um so this is a winnie the pooh brush that i got from hot topic because it was a brush holder and i'm a sucker for cute things and it was cute i'm just going to go into the um light medium bronzer powder and i'm going to do a little bit at the tip of my nose which i'm just going to color it with blush anyway so we have a lot of it seems to me now unnecessary steps but Oh well, that's just what I do. I'm gonna run it up. That way, my nose looks like it sees the sun and I'm not just like super pale from it being cold and I don't go outside. And I'm going to do one of these, get my little nose over here. All right, so I'm going to take that same powder. I don't really use the contour cream out of the Sculpt Stack. Um, I, f I don't, I don't know. I get nervous about using um, a lot of creams. I don't want to mess anything up. So I will be taking another Winnie the Pooh brush and the um, bronzer shade and just bronzing up my cheek. So I'm going to go like right about where I left off with the contouring and just kind of brush it back just to bring a little bit of a sun kissed moment into the picture. I do want to go outside in the sun, but I don't want to go outside and be cold. And I'm going to dust my forehead with it just a little bit and do a little bit on my chin to try and slim it a little. So I'm convinced that this uh, elf. Mint, uh, mint Milk Cooling Face Primer just doesn't work for me because I use a small amount of product and it has definitely settled in my fine lines. I had done a video using those products and said that I was going to give them another chance and I've been trying but there's I just kind of feel like that's not working for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the products that I'm using it with but <sighs> I don't like for my fine lines to be showing. So next up, um, let me see, what do I want to use? I don't know. For highlighter today, I'm going to use the Mil uh, Milani Afterglow Strobe White. I really like this one. It's a good dupe for Pillow Talk. I do have plenty of those, but sometimes I just like to change it up. I wanted to try this one one time um, because I would not really tried any Milani products and I ended up really liking it. But I'm going to take the ABH... Um, A23 brush, and I'm going to just bring some glow into my skin. I love to overdo it with highlighter, so that will probably be the most prominent thing about my contour. <laughs> I love to look all, I don't know, like a chicken nugget or a fried potato because I love potatoes and I about, or I about look like a potato anyway, so... 
<laughs> um, yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, this brush sheds and it makes me so annoyed. I feel like I just had a conversation about how much I dislike this brush, but because it was $20 or more, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm still going to use it because it's like, I don't like to waste, so. Won't be buying another ABH brush like this. I'm going to get my chin, my cupid's bow, and above my brow. I feel like my brows are like large and in charge today, but I'm still learning. I wanted to try the um, ABH brow freeze or whatever, but it was sold out. So I'll just keep on using the got to be glued gel. And my, I, I kind of go between brow products. I use like the NYX Lift and Sculpt or Lift and Snatch and the Lime Crumb and Bushy Brow Pen. They're like my faves. Um, the Urban Decay Brow Blade is one of my most favorites too, but I feel like it runs out a lot faster than those do. It's just my opinion. Um, for my nose highlight, I'm going to use the same highlighter. I just have a little brush I like to use. It's a mini fan brush. It's so cute. It's a BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. So I'm just going to apply it down my nose. Okay, so like anytime that I'm not doing like a recording or anything, I listen to books and um, or music, but I'm back in a book mood. So I listen to that on Audible and I'm listening to, um, what's it called? far from you and i believe who's it by oh it's by tess sharp it took forever to go anywhere and i almost exchanged it i've almost exchanged it but um i didn't and now it's really interesting so i'm gonna take the same brush and i'm going to highlight my brow bone area all right i feel like this is getting to be down to the last little bit of it for my blush today i will be taking the moon slice beauty blushing moon palette and I'm gonna go ahead and probably just use only the pink I like to mix the pink with this like um I don't know kind of like orangey shade I'm just gonna use the pink today and I'm gonna use my um Luxie foundation brush that I use for blush so just gonna get a little bit of it I know I said I was gonna do mainly um cream but I changed my mind because I didn't feel like doing all that <laughs> so really just the cream contour I'm gonna kind of overdo the blushes a little tiny bit because I like to. I love blush and a little highlighter. Yikes on a bike. It is that primer that's not working for me. And I'm going to do a little nose moment. I love blush on the nose. I know it doesn't necessarily look the most natural, but don't care one bit so I'm very annoyed at this primer I almost knocked everything off my desk because I completely I didn't even touch that part of my nose and like it's starting my concealer and everything is starting to separate so I really definitely feel like that primer is just not it for me it might be for you but it's not for me. If it's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip, I don't believe that that one worked very well for me either. And it kind of seemed like it would be a dupe for it. So I probably should have seen it coming, but I wanted to try it anyway. So, yeah. Might give it to my mom. Um, anyway, that's about it for how I contour and highlight and everything. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this look and come right back. <laughs> Alright, so this is everything contour down face set lipstick on lashes on everything if you would like to check out the tutorial on the look that i'm wearing now i will have that down below as well as all my social medias um let me know what you'd like to see next don't forget to use the hashtag slightly unblended for a chance to be featured in an upcoming video and i want to thank you so much for watching and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your week and i hope that i'll see you in the next one bye